Hey guys, Ben with Food Addiction here, and have you ever wanted to do an Airbnb for a weekend getaway? Well, that's what we did at uh, Rancho Viejo. So check this out, and I'll tell you if it's worth it or not. This is our first attempt to do an Airbnb for a family and there was 12 of us so we decided to go to South Padre Island but the first time we tried to book it was way overbooked and there was no, no nothing available at all so we went to Rancho Viejo but uh, according to Airbnb it said it's like not that far but in reality it's like 40 minutes away so I would suggest if you want to go somewhere book somewhere that you want to be at uh, find it find that exact location be very patient and find something that's not so dated you want something that's gonna be a lot more modern but uh, this place does have amenities such as washer dry refrigerator microwave stove and a pool so um you know when you have a part um, of your family about 12 people or more it's kind of nice to have more space and be able to do things again i would recommend being extremely patient find the thing find the place that you want and uh, just find a good deal find a you know don't settle for just a place make sure you find something that you really want and that uh, you're going to want to pay you know whether it's 200 300 dollars or 400 dollars or more a night this was 328 a night so for four nights it was 1200 dollars let me know if you've had a good experience bad experience or any experience at all with airbnb and what do you think about, about us paying 328 a night for this house We are making gumbo, or attempting to make gumbo, and that's one of the benefits of having a uh, Airbnb. If you get a big house and you have a big family, then you can actually cook. You don't have to necessarily be at a hotel and you have to eat uh, eat out every single meal. So it saves you a little bit, bit of money in a sense, but overall, this location, this this building is actually uh, this house is pretty dated, and you'll see the video. Alright, so okay. the base to any good gumbo is to have a nice dark root. That's what gives the gumbo that depth of flavor. Uh, the lighter, it's all about that base. All about that base. Yeah. No trouble. The lighter the root, the more mild the gumbo is going to be. Dumping the Trinity. What do you think you got the name Food Addiction from? Here's actually my secret ingredient. Is it, is it a trade secret? We're gonna talk about it? No, we're not talking about it. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about so the secret baby, secret. This goes in every gumbo, baby. So this isn't too secret, but this is a spice mixture I've made that I put as the base of my gumbo. I'm gonna use this as good stuff. Guinness is a secret ingredient. Guinness. All the alcoholic vapors is gone. It doesn't smell like alcohol anymore. So at this point, you add in your broth, chicken broth, preferably. Or you can just add water if you don't want the broth to be. Mint garlic. Oh, that's beginning to look good. Oh man, look at that.
All right, so the gumbo is done, and we're gonna test it out. Okay, Brian makes some pretty good gumbo. Mm -hmm. Did you finish yours already? Yeah. It is good. This time it's just chicken and sausage. The last time he did a seafood gumbo, and that was the bomb. That was actually really, really good. Mmm. Yeah, the roux is good. Nice, spicy. I usually put some Tabasco sauce in there. Simple, just salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Kinda like a band, salt and pepper. All right, here we go. You wanna see, you guys wanna see drone? Yep, guys, that's how we do it. We reserve the whole beach to ourselves. That's how we do it at Food Addiction TV. Ashton, say hi. Where's the camera? You are so sunburned. Who's this sexy lady? They have nice restrooms, look at this. They have uh, state penitentiary, stainless steel, toilets. And you also have a uh, sunroof or whatever.
Well, that's a wrap, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and stay hungry, stay thirsty, but eat responsibly. Bin Diesel out. Hey guys, this is Ben with Food Addiction, and this is my godson, Ashton. Ashton, say hi. Wait, wait for the camera. So, hey, we're foodies and we love food, and so if you like watching um, food or reviews and things like that, right. check out our channel. We try to post something once a week, and that's about it. So, uh, Ashton, say please subscribe. Please subscribe. Say thank you, and we love you. Thank you, we love you. Wave to the camera. <laughs>